Homecoming this week for the Luther College Norris as Wartburg comes to town. Head coach Joe Troche joining us and coach went out to Nebraska Wesleyan last week. Uh, the Prairie Wolves ended up getting you. What uh, were the takeaways from that game after looking at the film? Yeah, pretty just kind of reaffirmed all the things that we thought, you know, pretty disappointing, felt really good about our matchups and uh, uh, just didn't execute, right? They did a good job scheming us. They made some better second half adjustments and um, overall defensively came down to about five plays, right? Two that accounted for over a hundred yards of offense that led to scores on uh, really routine plays. And then uh, we knew the quarterback was good, uh, has a lot of experience. We also knew he would turn the ball over through us two. We dropped him, uh, put one on the ground. We didn't recover it. So two interceptions that we missed. Uh, that easily puts us in scoring position for our offense, uh, a fumble that gets us off the field. And, uh, you know, our offense is actually moving the ball. Um, they didn't score a lot, but they were keeping us, you know, in the game and allowing us to to move the ball um, in terms of punts and play field position. And we just didn't make critical stops on defense when we needed to to keep us in the game. And so we just – we got to complement each other in all three phases. And um, – just disappointing, right? You look at the the scoreboard and it doesn't tell you the story. You look at the, some of the stats and it's like, man, we were there, but came down to, they just made the critical plays when they needed, right? Get that first down to keep the sticks moving, score when they needed. And we just didn't get off the field when we needed to. And what is the, what's it going to take to uh, make that critical play uh, defensively when the ball comes to you uh, to make sure you hang on to that ball uh, to get off the field on third down and to, uh, not give up those uh, explosive plays. All right, playing within the scheme, and we've got to continue to show our players, you know, what they're going to see, um, so it becomes routine. And um, you know, some we're really young, and so defensively, um, right, unfortunately, some of our guys have got to burn their hands on the stove. We can't just tell them, and they're experiencing that. All right, we're going through the growing pains of being young. Uh, we're talented. Our guys fight their their butts off. Um, but it's the execution piece right now, right? So year one was about motivating our guys and getting them to fight for 60 minutes, done. Now it's, hey, can we execute and fight for 60 minutes? And right now we're not executing for 60 minutes. And looking at uh, one aspect of your team that's uh, probably been a positive to uh, this point uh, has been your special teams play. You mentioned uh, you were able to play some field position uh, in your punting game and in my mind, uh, Sean Metcalf's uh, bringing a lot to the table as a, a field goal guy and a, a kickoff guy. He's putting it in the end zone uh, more often than not. How have your uh, how has your special teams evolved here early part in the season? Huge, right? When when defensively you're not starting in plus territory, you know the chances of you getting off the field increase. So Sean's ability to kick it back into the end zone, get touchbacks, and um, us to cover because we're a little more talented helps. Uh, also not having to go for it every time in, in the red zone. Um, if, you know, we felt like, hey, this is going to be a tight game. Let's get three and the ability to do that. Uh, it, it helps, right? You're not as handcuffed. Um, so you have more options. And obviously we have bow punting. So that gives us a lot of flexibility whenever you have a playmaker uh, with the ball uh, versus just a specialist, right? That guy has, has gotten us out of trouble a lot. And he's just got to continue to minimize, minimize his mistakes. Really the, the interception he threw was – was the one mistake where it was just really disappointing because he'd been playing so well and being patient and not turning the ball over, made some great decisions. And I know he wants that one back. And this this league's good. Everybody's got a quarterback. Um, we're too young to, to make those mistakes and expect to win, right? And, and looking at uh, the running game, uh, overall total was a little better. I know you want to get that average per rush uh, up uh, more than what it was, at least on the stat sheet from last week. Uh, did your running game take a step forward last week? Um, good question. I would say no. Um, yeah. You know, ask those guys. We have a high standard. Like, we have really talented in that group. We expect better. And um, we just need to continue to build around our guys and call the scheme that fits them better, right? The guys that block and then our, our running back really has to kind of fit to them. Um, and that group is really talented, Um up front and at the running back position. So um, unless they're getting over 100 yards rushing, I know they're going to be disappointed. And uh, we've got to do a better job of not thinking touchdown every time. 
right? If it's third and short, just punch it in instead of, you know, extending it thinking, all right, if I, if I push this another gap, maybe I can turn this into a 15 yard run. Well, understand that we need to just move the sticks on this down and there's time to, 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 to get outside and stretch a little bit and go for more. And how hard is it to teach that patient? Because uh, every kid wants to make that uh, big play and uh, do a lot of good for your team. But sometimes doing the good is taking what's there as compared to trying to uh, make things uh, happen that aren't there. Uh, how hard is it to teach that pace, patience? It's repetition. Uh, just continually to connect with them, showing pictures of like, hey, here's what you're going to get. Does this picture look like you know, what we practice and what you're getting and um, helping them understand situational football. So it takes time and uh, being consistent and repeating things over and over again. So it takes time. And this week, uh, obviously a very talented football team uh, coming to town uh, with the fourth ranked team of the country in Wartburg coming in. In the film that you've watched thus far, what impresses you the most about the Knights? Only ranked four, huh? Huh? Oh, should be ranked higher. No, they're solid. Uh, you know, they're everything that you want a team to be. If you look at their two deep, I mean, they have, I think it was 24, 25 guys are listed as seniors or fifth years. And so they did a phenomenal job and took advantage of COVID recruited. They've done a great job recruiting and um, they're solid defensively, offensively. They don't make a lot of mistakes, you know, defensively, they, they get their, their offense short fields and then their offense takes advantage of it and their special teams helps out. And then, um, when a starter leaves, you know, there's not much drop off at all, right? They're getting the most out of their kids. They're developing at a high level and their kids play like their hair is on fire, right? I mean, very violent team, uh, very disciplined. One of the best coach teams I've ever seen said that last year. I mean, this is a team that was one, really one fourth down stop away from national championship. And uh, they bring a lot of guys back who have that experience and they essentially stole a season, right? Half a season when they, you make a deep run, the playoffs. I mean, that's, that's a whole, that's half a season you just played. So a lot of experience, well coached, really tough. And from your perspective, is a is it a little bit uh, about embracing an opportunity this weekend to show what you can do against uh, one of the nation's best teams? For sure, I I love this conference because, um, and the Mayak was similar to this, where you didn't really need to think like, hey, where do we stand or where do we stack up nationally? Um, I would say we have we have you know, Co and Wartburg are at the top right now. Those are top 10 teams that are playing at extremely high level that um, could probably go and compete for a conference championship anywhere in the country. And so you don't need to go and think, oh, okay, I wonder how good we are. Well, one of the best teams that's compete for national championships in our league and come this weekend. So we can, we can evaluate our program. We can evaluate where we're at currently and see like that's the standard. Now that's over 20 years of consistency and doing things. Um, to a certain level so we got to embrace that we got to love it and you know when we watch film of other guys you got to appreciate the craft right their ability to execute year in and year out and do it at a high level when you watch they're not doing anything special right what's special is that they can get their guys all 11 every single play um, to go all in and, and execute their scheme that's what's special all right, uh, Coach, hopefully things can keep moving forward this weekend. Keep you guys healthy. We wish best of luck. Thanks, Darren. Look forward to seeing you. Joe Troche, head coach of the Luther College North.